Hey guys, thanks for joining me back on the little GE P1700A. For those that watched the uh, first video, I re-engineered that first IF transformer with the yellow slug to be a, a parallel LC circuit. It was a uh, series in the original transformer. Anyway, I put the uh, second IF in where I had a third IF, and I've just got a little bit too much gain. You can hear the oscillation occurring. So, so tune through. So I'm gonna try to uh, kind of tame this thing down. So I should be able to uh, reduce the uh, gain somewhat. See if we can stop the uh, oscillation from occurring. So let me break this thing back apart. I'll bring you guys back with an update. You can hear my oscillations back. Let me uh, flip the board over and let's just try another value capacitor to uh, couple the IF transformer back over to the uh, second IF. All right, the capacitor I'm talking about where I took the uh, tank circuit from uh, series over to parallel so I could use a standard uh, first IF transformer is at this location I used a, what, 0 0.01 microfarad cap to uh, tie the circuit back in. I'm going to just go with like a 68 picofarad capacitor and uh, see if that settles things down. And I just... Uh, Tacked in a 68 pico ferret. You can hear the sensitivity of the receiver. Not good at all. Let me increase that value up to about uh, 220 or so. See what we get. Okay, making a little hay. You can hear the uh, signal's a little stronger now, but still not the sensitivity that I would expect. No oscillation, of course, at this point in time. Let me increase the uh, capacitor value just a bit more. You can see my IF amplifier that I had in there when I was substituting transistors, HFE 408, a lot of gain. I think that's what's causing my oscillation. I've got a, a different germanium uh, transistor I'm going to throw in there. So here's what I've got, HFE of 42, the 2SA52. Let me try that and see what happens. Okay, the oscillation put put putt's gone now, and the radio is realigned correctly. Playing great. Thanks for watching.